guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk you through GCSEs and A-level results for 2017 and give you advice on what to do if you get great results or if you get bad results, getting into university, going to different schools and all that jazz. If you want me to do more GCSE and A-level revision, if you want me to see more GCSE and A-level videos, please tell me in the comment bar below and give this video a big thumbs up because I love doing uni and school related videos and I hope you guys really like them. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right on with the video. So firstly, just as a little background knowledge, I did both GCSEs and A-levels. I got seven A stars and four A's at GCSE and I got two A stars, two A's and a B at A-level now studying at Durham University and um, reading law. So firstly, I'm gonna give you A-level guys some tips because I have personal experience of kind of something going wrong on results day. So what happened um, for me is that in the subjects required for Durham, I only got A star A, B, and I actually needed A star A, A. So I went on to UCAS in the morning and I saw I'd been accepted into my second choice, which was Nottingham, but I hadn't been accepted into Durham. I would say for this situation, because it happens to a lot of people, Firstly, don't panic, um, stay calm. You know you've got into one university, so it's kind of fine, but you might get into the second one. I'd say the first port of call is your school when you go in to um, actually receive your A-level results probably an hour after you look on UCAS. Talk to them, I talked to my teacher and he actually wrote a letter to <laughs> Durham University, said he was gonna ring them up, like do everything possible to try to get me in um, because he knew how much university meant for me. I think a school input um, in this matter really, really helped. And then for me, I actually just had to play a waiting game. I just had to wait for a week after getting my ALO results to see if I got into Durham. It was the most horrible week ever, um, but I would say you have to plan other the options as well so I didn't know I was going to get into Durham I didn't want to go to my um, second choice so I looked to clearing this is the same as if um, say firstly you get results better than you expected or secondly you don't get into any universities you go through clearing which um, is just basically lots of universities have spare places that you can kind of get on results day it's really great I was looking at actually studying history at York that was like the one clearing place that I wanted if I hadn't got into Durham. And there's so many, literally nearly every single university has clearing places. So never fear if you get results that are better. I think it's called adjusting or something like that. So you kind of go on and you can find like a better university to go to, which is a great option if you did better than you expected. And then another piece of advice for A-level kids, when you get to university, it doesn't matter about your A-levels anymore. I always thought everyone would be so much more clever than me because I kind of only just got into Durham. I kind of cheated my way in. Um, but actually, no, everyone's on the same playing field. Leave your school life and your A-level life behind and focus on making new friends. Don't go to everyone and be like, what subjects did you do at A-level? Like, people don't care. Ask them about their interests, ask them like meaningful questions rather than about um, school because just leave that behind that's an old chapter you're on to your new chapter now and then for GCSE students uh, if you get really good results and you decide actually I kind of want to move schools perhaps to a grammar school a lot of grammar schools actually accept students on the day of A level results if you actually do really well so I know a grammar school near me um, if you ring them up on results day they can potentially actually offer you a place which is absolutely crazy and great grammar schools are really amazing um, if you're not from the UK they are free schools that um, are kind of selective so they give you the best teaching you get surrounded by really intelligent kids um, and the whole thing is free so if you're looking into like changing schools changing to a grammar school if you're clever is a really really great idea and then my second piece of advice for GCSE students is to kind of use your GCSE marks to inform your choices on A-levels but not to determine them. Say I got three A-stars in all the sciences but I didn't feel strong enough to do them at A-level. I think it's very different whether like you do well in them slash whether you enjoy them. So say um, I did English literature and I only got an A, a GCSE in it rather than doing a science that I got an A star at GCSE in. So just kind of use the results to determine how good you are like on paper 
but also see how much you enjoy the subject at A level because there's no point doing one that you did amazingly at GCC but not liking it because that's two years of your life that you're kind of wasting. And yes, they are my tips. I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you have any more questions about GCSEs or A-levels anytime before or after results day in August, let me know in the comments bar below and I will answer them all. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time guys. Bye, I love you.